The Entity Locator command will allow you to find entities on the design screen. The command is extremely useful when importing files from other drawing formats. There are often entities on a design that are many units away from the base drawing and are difficult to locate. The command will provide a list of each group of entities and allow you to zoom in on the locations. Obviously, the group with the largest number of entities is most likely the base drawing. Smaller groups may be entities that are not required for this design and may be deleted from the screen. To locate the entities on the design screen, click on a group of entities in the list. The software will zoom to the center location of the group of entities. Depending on the location and size of the entities, you may need to temporarily hide the paper and turn off the background to make the entities more visible on the screen. You may also need to zoom in further on an area or make sure all layers are visible in the Layer Manager. If the selected group of entities are not needed to complete the design, you can quickly erase the entities by clicking on the Delete Selected Group button. You cannot undo this action, so make sure you want to delete the entities. Now that the drawing is cleaned up and you have the base drawing ready for design, you may need to reposition the paper behind the entities. If you've turned the paper off in a previous step, make sure you turn the paper back on using the Show or Hide Paper command. Click on the Move Paper to New Point button, and the paper will appear on your mouse cursor. Move the paper to a new location behind the group of entities, and click one time with the left mouse button to reposition the paper. If necessary, make use of the Drawing Page Setup command to change the paper size and scale to better match the drawing. Close the Entity Locator box by clicking on the X in the top right corner.